Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to share with you some items that I sold on eBay. These items are easy to find, easy to list, and easy to ship. A lot of them you're going to see are toys. I love selling toys because they're just so simple to find. All right, let's get started here with the first item, which is a toy. Mixed lot of shimmer and shine dolls. So I probably could have done a little better with my keywords in that title, like put, I think this is a monkey. I'm not really sure. Maybe it has a name. I could have possibly put that in the title. So don't be like me. Do a little more research. And if I wanted to figure out the name of the monkey or whatever the little guy is, I could have used Google Lens. I do have a video that teaches you how to use that. Google Lens is completely free. It is a reseller's best friend. Check it out. Google Lens Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search. Sold this for $9.74 and the buyer paid shipping. Probably got this at a garage sale or something or the Goodwill bins and uh, probably cost of goods less than a dollar. That's typically what I do for things like this. This one is a Cleveland Browns heavy duty steel long neck bottle opener. I got this at the Goodwill bins. So probably a dollar or less. It is pretty cool. Sold it for um, $9.75, $9.75, and the buyer paid shipping. Again, very low cost of goods, easy to ship, easy to list. Now, easy to find as in I went to the Goodwill bins and I dug through the bins and I found it. If you've never been to the Goodwill bins, you pay by the pound. I have a lot of videos where I'm digging in the Goodwill bins. You actually see me recording my hand digging. I'll show you the things I pick up. It's super, super fun way to source check out those videos and it may be a good fit for you. The next one is this Build-A-Bear Workshop Poodle. This is just a little guy. It's only, what, six inches and it is a stuffed animal and it's a poodle. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, so probably about 50 cents in this, pay by the pound, sold it for 10 plus shipping. Vintage Fisher Price Dream House Doll House. So, Basically, if you find the dollhouses, a lot of times they are damaged, they have wear. You can save the doors, the windows, different components from the house, and people are looking for them. These are great replacement things. Just put replacement in the title. Sold this for $10.54 and the buyer paid shipping, and I got this off of a dollhouse at the Goodwill Bins. My twin doll crutches. So these are crutches for a doll, I believe. It's an 18-inch doll, but I'm not 100% sure. I didn't put it in the title. Uh, got these out of a toy box from Auctions for You on uh, YouTube, but I think she's T for you now. So I'm not sure if she's still selling in bulk, but you guys can definitely check her out. Sold these for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage 1978. Alpine Originals Candle, Kids Dog Nature Hong Kong Hand Painted. Husband found this one at an estate sale for a buck, brought it home to me. I listed it. It did take a long time to sell. It's super cute though. Sold it for seven on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Peppa the Pig. Um, hit and miss on these. More of a long tail item, kind of like Paw Patrol, but certain ones sell for more and faster. Got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably about a buck. Sold it for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, this little owl I got from Cat Feeling Thrifty on a whatnot sale. She was doing a this or that show. There did end up being a little teeny chip. I can't find it now. I think maybe, is that it right there? I think that's it. It's still hard to see. It was hard to see um, when I listed it. But I just disclosed it and it still sold. If it wouldn't have had the chip, I could have gotten more. I think it's right there. And let's see. I paid $3.01 for this and I sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. And I got some really cool stuff from her Whatnot show that day. Um, sold quite a few items. Definitely made great profits. Check out Cat Feeling Thrifty on Whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Can you source on Whatnot? Absolutely. Um, I do have a referral link down below. You can check that out. It will get you $15 to shop when you join Whatnot with that link. That is for new users only. This is a Curious George Monkey. It's 16 inches. Got it free. Um, I believe this one came from a viewer. She gave me a whole bunch of plush and sold it for $20 in the buyer paid shipping. How cute is he? He's so cute. Um, silicone candle bulbs. So 
Here's what they look like. I have one left. I have sold four. This person bought three of them for $24 and they paid shipping. So got these at a garage sale for a dollar a piece. Definitely, definitely something to be on the lookout for. Uh, you can also create coupons, buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. And if you don't know how to create coupons, check out Bolo Buddy's coupon video on YouTube and I will teach you. And there's different types of coupons. You can send them out to past buyers. You can send them out to people who follow your store. Lots of options there. Paw Patrol um, Christmas ornament from 2021. Got this in a thrift store Christmas mystery box. Sold this for $14.30 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage Christmas Santa Claus and boy TNT 3516 ready to paint. This is a harder to find item. I got this in a Christmas thrift store mystery box. Sold it for $25 in the buyer paid shipping. These are Marvel 3D memory matchup game replacement pieces. So they are replacements for games. Got these at the Goodwill bins, so probably less than a dollar. Sold it for $7.50 in the buyer paid shipping. Big Sister Ebba Toy uh, Plush. Got this for free, so this was another one in that big bundle of free plush I got. Sold it for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Cat's Meow, this one is Muskingum County Courthouse. And the ones that have specific things on the back, Sometimes can sell for a little more. What I will tell you is these are typically long tail, but they're easy to find. They're cheap. Usually you can buy them in bulk. Easy to list, easy to ship. Boring to list, <laughs> but they do sell. And I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And my cost of goods was about 50 cents in that. This is a Fisher Price... Pot. Huh. Two of the ones I didn't pull them up. That's so weird. I can see. Huh. What did I do? I don't know. But this is a Fisher Price Loving Family pot. Yeah, you guys, you're probably not going to waste your time on this, but sometimes I just want to see if I can sell it, right? This is just a teeny tiny pot. I sold this for $4.34. The buyer was all in for $10.49. So they paid the shipping and the tax and uh, yeah, Fisher Price loving family, little toys like this. They're great. They're great. People look for them. They need them. They need them as replacements. They want that little pot to put on their little kitchen thing in their dollhouse. These items do sell. All right, you guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out my referral links down below. Those are things I use for my business. You've got uh, Mercari. If you don't sell on Mercari, check it out. No selling fees. $10 to shop when you join with that. Another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. But you got to use my referral link to join to get those perks. Poshmark, $10 to shop. If you're not cross-posting list perfectly, I've been using it since 2019. Lots and lots of new features. There's some videos down below that can uh, show you about the new listing assistant, which is rad. Oh my goodness. Um, I just upgraded from, from business to pro. And if you're on the pro plan, you guys can opt into the pro plus plan until the end of the year for free. So um, more information in those other videos about that. And coupon referral code Bolo Buddies to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.